from the soul with it. So today I was listening to ESPN LA radio and they were having a discussion about Rajon Rondo obviously getting a starting job over Lonzo Ball. So Travis Rogers posed a question to LZ about Lonzo Ball being in the game in the fourth quarter and pressure moments. So Travis Rogers asked LZ, do you think by the time the Lakers figure out what they have and he wasn't talking about this season or 20 to 25 games into the season like he's talking about once they get into the meat of everything and once they figure everything out what are they going to do during real game he said the end of the season and you're jockeying for the playoffs he says he thinks rondo has to be the guy in the game at the end though he knows that the media is caught into if rondo should actually be a starter or should he be a six man he says he think with the five guys at the end of the game that he wouldn't be shocked if rajon rondo is is not one of those guys in the starting five lineup. So that's when LZ Granderson responded by saying, I would be shocked because you have to train Lonzo to be ready for these moments. Shielding him away from these moments doesn't help him, doesn't help the franchise. Then he makes a comparison or an analogy like, if you can't use Aaron Rodgers in the fourth quarter of games, then what are we doing here? He then goes on to say, if you're the number two pick, the point guard, and your point guard can't be on the floor at the end of those games, what are we doing here? So if you guys would like to listen to the full audio, feel free to go onto ESPN LA Radio. But I agree with Travis Rogers. Until Lonzo Ball proved that he could show up in clutch moments, then I'll keep Rajon Rondo in fourth quarter clutch moments just based on experience. From time to time, I would throw him in the fire just to see if he's ready. But to be quite honest with you guys, I haven't been really too caught up into this media frenzy of who will start Lonzo or Rondo because there were already reports that came out probably weeks ago that Rondo would get the starter job due to Lonzo Ball knee and them wanting to be patient and not rush him back into things. I hear that pretty soon he'll be ready to go and scrimmage with 515 contact. But to me, I think it's all smoke and mirrors and I think it's somewhat strategic because once the Lakers are about 15 or 20 games in or so, then the chatter and tons of headlines will circulate like, when will Lonzo Ball come in? I wouldn't be surprised if LeVar Ball comes out and generate all these headlines saying like, the Lakers need to play my boy. Then the interview going to ask LeVar, but is your son healthy though? And LeVar going to be like, is my boy healthy? Of course my boy is healthy. My boy healthier than a vegan. My boy healthier than a rabbit eating vegetable. My boy so healthy, he living his best life and yours. So I think it's I think it's all strategic and just a huge distraction. I honestly think Lonzo is healthy and I think he ready to go. I believe I don't think that they're being cautious. I think that Lonzo Ball is ready to go and he could play, but I think that they're just playing off these headlines because as I stated, I do believe the Lakers will struggle this season. So it's all smoke and mirrors in my opinion. So like I said, don't be surprised. If you start to see headlines, you start to see LeVar Ball talking, LeVar Ball complaining about his son not getting minutes, etc., etc. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Get in that comment box, like, share, subscribe. I'm out, okay?